Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, our hey. favorite show is uh, back. back on. You know, other, other than Greenleaf, this is our favorite freaking show. Yeah. And let me tell y'all right off the bat, I have a feeling they're going to stress me out. They're yeah. going to stress me to yeah. move out. I'm not here for it, but I'm here for it at the same goddamn time. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. This is Queen Sugar. If you could enter their dreaming. Dream. Listen, check before we get into it. Check out these shirts, y'all. Check them out. Check them out. Yeah. It is what it is by our forever yes, first right. lady. Yeah. And what y'all say? My say, I never lose. I either win or learn. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. If you're interested in getting some graphic tees that are expressive, especially to us, hey. go ahead and check out powerinblack.com. Make sure you use our coupon code, which is Lynette, my name, L-Y-N-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, and you'll get 15% off of your order. Hey. Thank me now. Hey. Size down because the shirts do run big. Boom. So let's go ahead and get into this episode see we just hit it like only they can when things start going too smoothly we know yeah. that something is about to happen, to happen. Yep. in the middle or in the end and we gonna get there just walk with us like they tell us at church just walk with us walk so, with me lord so we see an episode that Ra is suing the usda about all the stuff that they've done to the black farmers so he's taking charge of going ahead and doing that lawsuit but he has a dilemma is if you can get more skin in the game with the black farmers to go ahead and say, uh, I'm on board with you, that actually fattens the case. Right. But you already know how these black farmers roll. If it's not easy, if it has any bit of resistance, they don't want they nothing want to do with it. it. Yeah. So that's his dilemma at this moment. But let's go ahead and move forward a little bit. Ralph Angel and Dollar, y'all know that she announced that she was pregnant on the last episode of last season. So now she's good and showing. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, Ra, where's your job that you had working at the at the, at the uh, retirement center? Right, or the, yeah. Like they call it down here, the old folks home. Where is that job? Because now it looks as if he may not be working or may not be working as, as much. much. He going part-time. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. Um, but they don't have any money. We see that Ralph Angel is starting to go after payday, payday loans. loans. And the guy even told him, said, listen, I'm going to have to run a background, background check, check on you. Because this is your fourth payday loan in the last six months. I'm like, whoa, mm -hmm. whoa, 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 whoa. What the, pay what the background check got to do with what anything the, after, the the, after the fourth, fourth payday loan? Yeah. Shouldn't you did that on the first? <laughs> yeah. anyway, and, and what is you checking for? I mean, because if you're a criminal, you just don't get the loan? Like, how does I, that work? I thought payday loan, as long as you can prove that you had some... Some some, some skin in the game or yeah. some collateral. But it seemed like they've been, they been giving him the payday loans based upon this, this new harvest of cane that's supposed to be perfect this time. So, speaking of, <laughs> we see, and, we, and we're going to move around a little bit because we're going to group this stuff together because we need to get to the good part. So, we see in there that Dollar evidently has been eyeballing this crib. And so y'all know that Blue is over there in D.C. And everybody is just so happy to have Blue gone to D.C. Because it seems like he's, yeah, that he's <laughs> flourishing and whatnot. He sends, he sends a um, selfie every day and a new baby name every yeah. day. <laughs> and Dala has been having her eye on this particular crib that she wants for the baby. Evidently, it's expensive. Way out of their price point. But Raw made it happen. With a payday loan. With a payday loan, right? I'm like, player, did you know you pay like 20, 30 times the amount for that crib? So Dollar checked him right off the bat. She was like, first of all, thank you, but we cannot afford this. And he was like, when I when this cane come up, it's going to be good. We're going to get a good payout. It's like, going to be all to the good. And I'm like, that what you said banking? about the last yes. harvest, raw. You're banking on something that hasn't right. even happened yet. Right, and you can't and, do that. And at this point, is the money spent before it's even here? See, it's different than borrowing twenty dollars until tomorrow. You, you, you getting you're thousands? Yeah, you spending thousands. Yeah, yeah. So we see at one point in the episode, 
Ralph Angel was in his truck getting ready to go to meet the family at the vaccine drive. And he gets a call and it said collection. Collection. So he answered the phone with an attitude. Why is it that when people owe you money? <laughs> they, they, they got answer, an attitude. <laughs> they get an attitude with you because you called them to ask for your skip back. Yup. <laughs> he told me, didn't I tell y'all not to call me? He, they never told you to reach down to them. Tell me, I thought y'all said I got an extension. Do you have that in writing? Is that in your email? Like something. Hmm. So long story short, old boy told him, said, listen, pretty much, I don't want to hear your mouth. You told me that story the last time we gave you the extension. If within 30 days, if we don't have our money, we are foreclosing on your land. I said, yeah, oh, I'm like, whoa, wait, 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 whoa. wait. You put, I hope, I hope. Is I don't even know if you get collateral. Or is they just saying that it, that's the it, only asset? It, it has to, it, it it has to be a business loan because I don't know if you put up collateral for no payday loan. I don't. Know I mean, I've never got a payday loan. I just know some people who have got the one. Lord, I ain't but never I, been there. I, I don't remember them ever putting up nothing for collateral. Yeah. I, I but I, y'all I, know I, y'all y'all let me know. But I yeah, know they yeah. take your your. I know they take your, your, your. It's not a deed to the car. What is it? Um, the title. Yeah, I know they'll take a title to your car now. That's right. Yeah, I forgot about but that. But I don't know. I don't know if we go all the way down to the but, land. But now. here's the thing. This is what I thought about. As much as they've been scuffling, fighting the border loans and all of them to keep the land, you're going to tell me you're going to lose it over a loan? Over a loan? Probably over some skits you don't even need. Yeah. I, your I, house I, is I, paid I can for. Feel, I can feel you want to create for your baby, but if you ain't got the money for it, you better go down there yeah. to the Goodwills and, and spray and clean that over down with some bleach and keep it in Or do like back in the day. I, you know, I used to see the mamas put the baby in the center of the bed and put a whole bunch of pillows around them so they can't roll off the bed. Yeah. You better do something like that. That's free. Put them in a clothes basket like the old people used to do. Lay it in the clothes basket. Wait. <laughs> you ain't never heard no, that. I ain't never heard that one. Yeah, in them, in them wicker clothes baskets. Yes, oh, sir. Okay. That's what they used to do back in the day. Hey. So. Gotta do what you gotta do so you get where you're going. Hello. So evidently, Ra and Aunt Vi, they still ain't talking, y'all. But you talking about two bullheaded people, too. Yes. Guys. So we got Hollywood. Y'all know Hollywood is one of our <laughs> faves. I love that he can love his woman but check her at the same, same time. time. And yep. he was like, listen, you at some point, you, you got the boy's number. Y'all going to need to talk. She's still mad about blue, still mad about this. She mad about some pies. It's just a lot. Talking about he need to come around. He said, what about you? You need to and come she, around too. And she looking like. Because like she don't think she me. wrong. She don't mm -hmm. think she need to come around. So, yeah, they, they still not talking. And I'm like, come on, Anvai. So, Anvai has this thing, this initiative going on at the diner, right? Where you don't pay the price. You pay, pay what, what you can. can. I actually love that idea. I actually thought yeah. about that one time. Yeah, that's dope. So one guy was in there. He was like, what I owe you on a And she was like, like the sign says, you give me what you can, can. give me. Yep. And the rest don't even worry about it. Good Lord going to take care of it. Love it. But she's also doing like these brown bag packages that they're sending out to different people. Or mm. people are coming to pick up. There's one bag that's unmarked. Yeah. And Hollywood was like... Who does my bag belong like this, to? Yeah. So she quickly grabbed the bag and said, oh my God, somebody forgot to pick up their order. It's cool that she took it and she shoved it down under the counter. She sent Hollywood away to go get some containers from the basement that she needed. As soon as Hollywood was out of her presence, she slid that bag right up underneath the counter like, uh, what is you hot? What you hot? All right. Now I know good and got darn well that all of this attitude that you given towards Hollywood, this dismissiveness, this full of bucking nicotry. Uh huh. Shout out to Forrest Rocks <laughs> that you putting towards everybody in your family, a because you covering up for some skit that you doing on the side. I know we not in our sixties <laughs> sliding. <laughs> I know it, this has to look like something that it's not. You cannot make me believe this. All I got to say, it better not be Jimmy Dale that she's that 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 food is for. So moving forward a little bit, we see that at some point 
you know, we see Hollywood over at the house looking at his mom's belongings and going through it. You know, just ha reminiscing, having, you know, fond mo uh, memories of her, you know, when they went to the casino together. She used to wear the red, red hat. hat. Yeah. She like, if I get lost, just look for my hat. You know, stuff like that. And next thing we know, they're in this small bed together. And then we see Aunt Vi in the next scene slide out. Say she going to a church. And she over there at the Southside Motel dropping off the paper bag. At the door. Like she Uber Eats. Did a little knock knock boom. Yeah, the only thing she didn't did do was take a picture. Did a Uber Eats on her, right? Who is that, y'all? It better not be Jimmy Dale, I'll tell you. Who that. is in Cause I'm like, who? the motel? Right, because it can like, like we said, it can't be nobody in the family because they not staying there. You can't hide that. Yeah. So I'm like, who, who else, else could it be? Who you hiding? Yeah. And I'm trying to think of anybody that would be controversial that. The only other person I can think of, when I I can't think of his name right now. You say like a a, a mad Siamese cat. The uh, the uh, what a name? Landry. Landry. Ain't he in jail? I don't know. Maybe he not. Maybe she's maybe she's sneaking to him because you remember she was talking to him in the downer in the last season where they was talking like with some sense a little bit. He wouldn't be staying there. But I mean, if you hiding, you be staying there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, something don't seem right. I don't know, man. I'm just making guesses. So y'all make some guesses in the comments. Who y'all think she took to that food to? Who? That Jimmy Day? I'm processing it all. So we have Micah and Charlie. So Micah is doing some studies, right? And we oh, see he's him, studying all right. <laughs> and we see him at his computer. And he's giving it to, I mean, he's, he, you know, you know, Micah. Micah and Charlie are one of the same. You know, they could talk they, themselves out of a wet paper bag. So Stella said, is there some chemistry going on between him the, and the teacher slash professor? Mm -hmm. I was like, put a pin in that because we might be going somewhere with that. Like I said, Charlie and Micah are one and the same because she's in California on business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But she handled it some business, business as well. Huh. Dangling business, Mike. So we see Charlie. She has her swimwear on. She has her big floppy hat on. So where's she going? And I going? said, why is she looking like she hiding from somebody? So she looking all around, looking all around. And then she dips into a cabana. I said, I know Davis East ain't uh -huh. up in that cabana. And who it is? Davis East. <laughs> we don't call it Davis West because this joker don't did up. Yeah, yeah, no, we, don't, yeah we don't know who this dude is. So they in there having them a good old grown sexy time. I ain't even mad. They look cute together. Just don't break a heart, Davis. So Davis is like, listen, I want to make you happy. But I'm in this for the long haul. And, you know, Charlie is still on that. I need to be able to trust this. I need to be able to trust that this is what you right. really want. And that you're not Hell, we trying to trust again. it too. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to process it too. It took me a while to process the divorce. You mean to tell me y'all going to be trying to get back together? So... Davis is like, listen, we need to start by being out in the open. We can't hide in cabanas yeah, we, our entire lives see, now. I'm, we need to, I'm tired I'm, of sucking and fucking in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Davis West said, I'm too goddamn tall to uh -huh. be hiding out in cabanas. Yeah. I need to, we need to be seen and heard. So she said, you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to come out to the family first. Let them process it. I said, first... You need to come out to your son, son, son. Yeah, yeah. My and talk to him by himself so, and let him mm -hmm. process this yep. all the way. Like, he he knows, but he need to know, know. Yeah. That this he needs to hear you say it. He needs to know that, that, yeah, that, that y'all <laughs> are really, that, like, sneaking that, around. That the band it. is back together again. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> like, he needs to know. Yeah. So... Yes, yeah, so I'm like, okay, it's it's a good look. It is what it is. I'm not even going to be mad at it. You know, we were mad about it at first, but I said, we can't even be mad about it, right? So, let's talk about, let's see. <laughs> Unvi. So, evidently, we still on Michael, but we're going to bring Unvi into the mix. Evidently, Unvi and Michael had like this breakfast date 
where they were supposed to get together. And Aunt Vi cooked up. Listen, I, my mouth was watering like uh-huh. salmon croquettes yes, and, and, all, yeah. and fluffy eggs and yeah. biscuits. I said, wait a minute, where mine at? I didn't know about it. She said, the next time you decide to stand, stand me up, up and waste my I, time, <laughs> it better be worth it. He talking about something I've been at the library. library. She said, so kids really go to the library these days? Like, said, Michael, you couldn't come up with a better lie than that? Oh, he was reading something, <laughs> but they want a book. Huh. So I said, who is it that Micah is with? And God don't it if my husband was not right on that one. I said, that God don't teach you come out of the router out the back, buddy. I said, are we doing the power uh-huh. again? Can remember what, on power last season? Yep. When our um, old boy, um, the basketball player was bucking um, the teacher. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Professor Ingram. So she told me something, I love your stamina. That's all he got. Yeah. He young. <laughs> what else you want him to have? Good credit? I mean, he young. That's all he can do is give it to you all night long. So that's why the Cougars want the young guys, man. That they got to teach them something. But one day I can say, if you teach them something, they'll never forget it. They're going to take that. That's like a resume. You can't erase it, man. <laughs> you can't erase it. It don't fall off. Like skills, skills, skills for life. Skills for motherfucking life. Yeah. So, so I'm like, okay, Michael, this is what we do it. And Aunt Vi even told himself, whatever you're doing and whoever you're doing it with, Wrap it Wrap up, it up cause, cause we don't need no, no mistakes, more, no more accidents running around him. I said, "What? Well, we had to say it like say that, it like that. yeah." <laughs> I said, you, "We we been, have, we have grown enough that we just don't say it like that." Yeah. Sometimes you think it, like, "What the fuck was you thinking?" <laughs> but we can't say that out loud. We say it at our home, yeah. <laughs> when nobody can hear us. Yeah, but you know that age group just said whatever they want. Especially, <laughs> yeah. her. Her. so let's go ahead and talk about Nova a little bit. So, you know, of course, Nova is on her true papers and all of that good stuff, and she's still on her what Calvin did. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and ride this train and get some results from the police department. We want to defund the police department. So, what she did was she actually found an officer that is going to be secretly feeding her yeah. information because he's sick and tired of seeing the corruption, the mis, um, misuse of power, abuse, all that good stuff. But he was like, you need to keep me secret because pretty much if he's found out, he's a dead man. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. So that got her rattled out because even when she left him to go back to her home, she couldn't find her keys, but she looked and her door to her house was cracked open. We and thought Calvin was in there. I did. I thought said Calvin, Calvin was in better it. not be up in that house. So the first thing I said, you got all this mouth and you ain't <clears throat> concealed carry. You ain't packing some. Hmm. Like you, when you get that deep into that mess. Yeah. Don't be no fool. Yeah, don't be no protection. fool. Yeah. So she goes into the house and she realizes, okay, my keys are on the table. I did this. I was in such a rush, rush. that I left my door open and the keys on. First of all, that would freak me out because yeah. I would think that I'm losing my freaking mind. Because yeah. did I really leave out of my house and leave that my fast door cla- um, yep. open? Left my keys on the table and my door wide open. Well, sh- I was at work for eight hours when my car started. I mean, that's different. You, at least you brought the keys out the house and put them in the car and started up and went to work. You probably were late that morning. And got on the truck wide open, trying to hurry up and get in the building. So I started at started work on a full tank, <laughs> <laughs> and when I got in my car, my gas light was open, and security didn't even call. Yeah, what they good for? Nothing. So, uh, vaccine drive. Nova decided that she wanted to put together a vaccine drive for the people of Saint Joe. Yeah, keep that in mind. So it's time for that to go on. So no, you know, Unvi does what Unvi does. She's gonna keep you fed and hydrated so that you can not be angry. Your sugar don't drop. None of that good stuff. Right. And you know, keep you hydrated so that you can be in a better mood. So that when you get that shot, you don't pass the buck out. <laughs> so we get over there, and they have way more people than they expected to come for the supply that they I'm have been saying. rationed out. Roswell said, ain't all these people. We From St. These, Joe. We don't have this many people in St. Joe. And I think everyone can attest to when the vaccine first came out, 
this is how it was. Yeah, like that's crazy. people were just flocking to these facilities, yep. hoping that, oh, I can just get what's left over, hoping that no one would show up. And you had, you put all that pressure on people to sort out who's supposed to be here and getting the vaccine yeah. and who isn't. Then you have those that feel like just because I meet the criteria, I'm I supposed just, to be, I can just show, show up. up. And, you, and you're going to stick me regardless. But there is still <clears throat> a protocol. process that you have to go through. Right. Sign up. So now we have all of these people. This is what trips me out. Uh -huh. I'm not going to get on my black power stuff. I'm not. But this is what gets on my freaking nerves. Don't nobody want what we got to offer. Until they want what we, we got, got to offer. offer. Yeah. So now that say Joe has this, this portion of the vaccine. You have everyone that hates everything about St. Joe and its people flocking yep. to get and take what's not due to them. Where your parish at? Where, yeah, wh yeah what, who, you, what the people doing now and over, yeah. over there? And then this is the motherfucking audacity in my T.I. voice. The <laughs> audacity <laughs> of these motherfuckers that come over to your place, over into your jurisdiction... And you don't even try to cover up your bias, nope. your racism, none of that. So mm. you come over there with your flag showing, yep. on your license plate, hanging from your rear view mirror, and think for a moment that my bias ain't going to kick in, and I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure that you're the least of the qualified. <laughs> I'm just saying. So we get there, and then... This also gets on my nerves as well. Because we also know that when stuff like this happens, you have to come, even when you know you're supposed to get stuff, you have to come prepared with yeah. all of your stuff. Mm -hmm. Because we know that stuff like this, this happens. happens. Yep. So, you know you qualified. Bring your license. Mm -hmm. Why are you driving without a license? Anyway. Right. So, now we have this thing going on. Where now there's a fight between, it looks like, it's reverse racism going on over here because all the white people are being turned away from not getting the vaccine from St. Joe. And nobody's like, no, you don't qualify no, because you don't live here. You don't live here. St. Joe is a predominantly black neighborhood right. or parish. Right. So why is it that it wouldn't be mostly black people getting the vaccine over here and white people being turned away? So then it becomes a riff. Yeah. Then it becomes, I I know them. I can vouch that they live here. Then you have some white people talking about, some, well, just because you feel like you know them, you may not know me, but I live here. Mm. Then now you have that going on. Yep. So Nova said, you know what? Let's go ahead and call the police so that we can get some crowd control. Michael was Michael like, the, said, the, the police? police? That's the first yeah, thing that's I said. Yeah, that's the last person that Michael went there. I said, you better call some brothers or something. Well, we can't say call the farmers because they just, is, they, they ain't good for skit. <laughs> but I was like, you can't call somebody else the, the brotherhood, the nation of Islam, somebody. Somebody. Al Sharpton or something. You know, I mean, God, <laughs> no one. So call the police. And you want to know what the police did? Oh, yeah. They oh, did yeah. what they do. Yep. They saw the damsel in distress and was like, oh, so they're not giving you... We need to make sure that this looks fair. And does it look like you're turning away people Man. because of a bias? So just because they may not be qualified to get it in this jurisdiction, just go ahead and, and pretty much do a solid. Make it look like but still giving the damsel in distress her way. Okay, so we have that. Another instance came up with that female black farmer. I can't remember her name right now. Yeah. And she didn't have her license, like I said. When we know we're supposed to get something, come with all your yes, skin. Yes, yes. Because, not because you have to prove it to the people that's doing it. You got to prove it to the people you gotta, you just gotta cut the fluff. Yeah, you gotta prove it to the people who there with a the motive. <clears throat> so, police officer comes over because now at this point, this this white lady that's in front of her is all upset because she saw that they cut the line and went directly to that lady. Uh, Vi was like, I know her. Well, She's yeah, been, she been here, here all her, her life. life. So I know that she qualifies because I know her. 
So the white lady's like, but you don't, just because you don't know me, doesn't mean that I haven't been living here my entire life. She got a point, but we know she's lying. So, because if that's the case, you just would have pulled out your license and, said, hey, and verified yeah. it right then and there. Right. So, she's getting a little rah, rah, rah with Mr. Prosper. Prosper. And the police officer comes over, a younger officer, and this is what they always do. Mm -hmm. Sir, I need, need you. you. To lower your voice. Like, no, her but voice. But he isn't the loud one. She's the loud one. But because he's a black man, or he she, he could have been a black woman. Oh, you, we need to put you in check, not her. So Mr. Prosper is of that old school. You, you're not going to tell me what he's, to do. He said, I'm you sick of y'all skit. Don't you put your hands on me. And you want to know what the officer did? Rough housed Mr. Prosper. And made him fall. Kind of gave him a little. Yeah, gave him. And made him fall. And he hit, hit his, his head. head. And if Mr. Prosper don't make it. Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be some smoke in the city in St. Joe. I'm telling you right now. So the last we saw was Raw running over. Hollywood running over. And Michael. I'm like. We expected this last season. Real talk. We thought that they were going to allow COVID to take Mr. Prosper out. But, but don't, I'm don't, not, don't let this be it. Nah, nah. Not like this, man. Nah. I'm scared to even look in the credits to see. <laughs> if, if he's still there. If he's still going to be there for the next two episodes or something. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to wait and just watch. I can't. Man. I cannot. My heart can't take it. And and I'm telling you, that, that you know, this racial climate, boy. But you, but you wait till Charlie find out that the incident even happened. You know. She, yeah. she over there, you know, she bucking and sucking in the dark. But when she find out about this right here, oh, it's gonna be some smoke in the city. Yep. So y'all, you right now, buckle y'all seatbelts. I see this is going to be a heart wrenching season. Yeah, but I hope that they don't stay totally with the COVID thing. I hope they kind of like we barely made it last season. Yeah, so I'm like just <laughs> yeah, like we kinda, barely made. I it know last we season. still in it, you know, but don't don't v off to the Delta variant and all that stuff. Oh just, my God! Just give us <laughs> Queen Sugar. <laughs> we we know yeah. the regular struggle. Right. Yeah, we don't <laughs> we don't we don't need that this year. Just yeah. No, uh, so we gonna need we 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 need to pray. Y'all pray, Mr. Prosper. Yeah. The sugar cane grows up. So and that pray that, and pray that uh, rock get, get that money. So we'll yeah. lose that land because that's going to be a whole other kerfuffle right there, too. We that. pray that Unvire and Ralph Angel get to talking. We pray for Blue. And we pray for this baby that's getting ready to come in this world. Lord have mercy. <laughs> we got a lot. But but listen, here's the thing. I almost forgot this part. When Nova had called a cop over there and the cop was siding with the white lady about getting the vaccine on GP. He told her, he said, this is what you get yeah. for trying to defund, for trying to defund, defund the, the police. police. So pretty much he was like, this is your punishment. You give her what she wants because you shouldn't open your mouth. So here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Lord y'all, don't forget if you're interested in your personal, yeah. in these tees right here that just yeah. speaks. And they have a lot of good, they have a lot of good shirts on the site. Yeah. So yeah, go check it out. Go man. Power in Black. Make sure yeah. you use our code. To save yeah. you some money. Save you that 15%, man. Straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up. Two down. Holla. Choo.